It can easily be said that the Corinthian believers had more issues than any other church to which Paul wrote. Yet we know these were saved folks by how Paul addressed them at the beginning of the epistle. Paul unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours, grace be unto you and peace, from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 1 to 3 Here Paul notes that these folks are a church, local body of believers, sanctified, set aside in Christ Jesus, and called to be saints. All of these are present and even past tense, done deal already, descriptions of the Corinthian believers. Among the myriad problems in the Corinthian church were claims of spiritual superiority over one another, bringing lawsuits against one another in public courts, abusing the communal meal, and sexual misbehavior. This has caused many to question their salvation, and some to even consider some type of fallen from grace explanation, which is certainly foreign to scripture, rightly divided. And just in case you missed Paul's belief that these folks were saved as justified believers, already sanctified in Christ, just look at 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 12, which states, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient, all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. In this we see a listing of behaviors that are unrighteous, and such as shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Many jump on this listing as somehow being descriptive of the Corinthian believers, yet it is disingenuous as Paul's statement in verse 11 begins with, and such were some of you dot were not our because now, Paul says that they, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. And don't miss verse 12 as it points to the heart of the problem, noting that while all behaviors are lawful unto me, all things are not expedient. Yes, while all are lawful, I should not allow myself to be brought under the power of any. Believer, focus not on what you were, but who you are. Believe who Christ says you are, not men, 